All right, so let's take a look at the moment generating function for a Poisson random variable, and then use that to figure out its mean and variance. So remember, a Poisson random variable with parameter lambda is one that has this particular probability mass function, e to the minus lambda, lambda to the x over x factorial, where x here is some non-negative integer. These are typically used to model a lot of natural phenomena, like the number of earthquakes in some area in a given year, the number of hurricanes, um, things, things like this. Um, Okay, and so we're going to calculate its um, moment generating function, which by definition is the expectation of e to the tx. And um, so concretely in our case, what we're going to do is we're going to consider all the uh, possible values of our variable, take a sum of this expression, e to the tx, times um, the probability mass function, which is e to the minus lambda, lambda to the x over x factorial. And, okay, well, we can write this a little bit better by pulling out this um, e to the minus lambda term, which is a constant. And also, we notice that these two terms um, both look like something with x in the exponent. So I'm going to kind of gather those things together, too. So this looks like e to the minus lambda, sum x is 0 to infinity, Let's say I have a 1 over x factorial. And then the other terms, I have a lambda, I have an e to the t, and all that to the power x. All right. So this hopefully should look familiar. What we have here is the expression of an, uh, the power series expansion of an exponential, right? Um, remember, like, e to the x is the sum from i equals 0 to infinity of 1 over i factorial um, uh, x to the i. So my variables are a little bit uh, different over there, but this is really an exponential. So let me realize it as such. This is e to the this. So it's e to the minus lambda times e to the power lambda e to the t. Okay, so that's my moment generating function. So let me go ahead and write that here. This is e to the minus lambda e to the lambda e to the t. All right, so now let's go ahead and use that to calculate the mean invariance. So we have, for example, the expected value of x is the first derivative of the moment generating function evaluated at 0. So let's go ahead and take a look at the derivative of this. So the derivative of the uh, moment generating function. Uh, let me write it here. So this is just a constant out in front, the e to the minus lambda. Um, and then I have um, e to the, the derivative of e to something is e to the same thing times the derivative of what's upstairs, which is lambda times the derivative of e to the t, which is itself. So we just get that. Suppose I could write this a little bit differently if I wanted it to. to this would be the lambda e minus um, e to the t minus 1. Let me just excuse me. Minus lambda um, plus lambda e to the t, which is e to the um, lambda e to the t minus 1. You know, that's a little bit similar looking. And then um, this is e to the lambda e to the t minus 1 times lambda e to the t. Okay. Okay, but in any case, we're going to go ahead and plug in uh, 0 for t. 
And what do we get? Well, so let's just plug that in. E to the lambda times um, uh, 1 minus 1 lambda e to the 0. Um, so this e to the 0, another e to the 0, I just get lambda. Okay, well, big surprise, this is a Poisson process with parameter lambda, which means that you expect lambda events to happen in any given time period, and indeed the expected value is lambda. Okay, that, that wasn't too big a surprise. But let's work out the expected value of x squared next, which is going to be the second derivative evaluated at zero. So let's go ahead and take the second derivative. Okay, so let me work with uh, this expression. I, um, I guess, um, why don't I bring this thing together so I don't have to use the, pro the product rule. So I have uh, lambda e to the lambda e to the t minus 1 plus t. That's what this thing looks like. So then the second derivative, we have a lambda, we have uh, the derivative of this is itself, times the derivative of what's upstairs, which is lambda times the derivative of this, which is just e to the t, um, plus the derivative of that, which gives me a 1. And now if I plug in 0, What do we got? We get a lambda e to the uh, lambda times uh, 1 minus 1 plus uh, 0 times lambda e to the 0 plus 1. Okay, now of course this thing is just an e to the 0, that's a 1, so we get lambda times lambda plus 1. which is lambda squared plus lambda. All right, and now to finish, let's go ahead and finish this. We'll calculate the variance. And what do we have? Well, the variance is the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x. And that's going to be the expected value of x squared was this which was that, so that's lambda squared plus lambda. And now I'm going to subtract the expected value of x squared. The expected value of x we found out was lambda. And so what we find is that the variance is also lambda. So a Poisson variable, um, as you may know, has both expected value and variance both equal to its parameter lambda.